today I'm going to give you some tips about sewing the Wildlife Wonders designs by Golden Needle Designs onto a printed background on the fabric. Um, you'll either want to buy the pre-made printable fabric or you can make your own with using the Bubble Jet Set 2000. Now, I've always been scared to run fabric through my printer, but I want to assure you that it worked out just fine. My printer's fine, it prints great, and I hope you'll have fun with this project. If you're making your own with Bubble Jet Set 2000, you'll want to soak the fabric, lay it flat to dry, and then press it with a warm iron to get it to lay nice and smooth before you run it through your printer. And I've cut these sheets to 8.5 inches by 11 inches, which is the same size as printer paper. After your fabric's dried and you've pressed it, then you want to cut a piece of freezer paper. Again, 8.5 inches by 11 inches, the same size as your printer paper. And you're going to iron your fabric onto the shiny side of it, the side that has the coating. That's what you'll want to press your fabric onto. Just like that. And use a hot iron. And make sure it's stuck down good before you run it through your printer. After your fabric has printed, you'll want to let it dry. Um, it's going to be much more vibrant at first, the colors will be, but after you wash it out, uh, they'll be less vibrant. And that's why I made uh, the, the images so uh, so saturated with color is because when you wash it out it's going to wash some of that color out. Now after you have printed your image and you've let it dry fully then you can peel it away from the freezer paper and then you'll want to rinse it out in uh, cool water and you'll want to rinse it for about two minutes and you put a cap full of the bubble jet set in your cool water you put like one cap full to a gallon of water and rinse out your fabric and then let it dry again maybe press it again before you go to sew the design on it when you go to sew the design on the printed background fabric um, you'll want to use either a heavyweight stabilizer, a uh, tearaway, or I'm using two pieces of a medium weight tearaway stabilizer since I didn't have the heavyweight stabilizer. And an eight and a half inch by 11 inch piece of fabric really isn't going to fit in my hoop that well because I don't have a five by seven hoop. I have a six by 10 hoop, but no five by seven. So it's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the fabric to the stabilizer before I put it in the hoop. And actually, it'll go this way. I'm going to center it on the stabilizer. And then I'm just going to pin around the edges. Well, I'm coming in about one inch because my hoop as you can see, it's going to take up part of the fabric. So you'll want to make sure that your pins are just inside the hoop. And then I pin along all edges before I hoop it. I have the fabric pinned to the stabilizer now and I'm ready to hoop it, but before I do that, I've got the printed template. Now you'll find these templates in the Wildlife Wonders Design Information um, PDF file. And you can print it out and cut it out. And this is going to show you the exact center of the design. And you can place it on the fabric exactly where you want the design to sew out. And I'll just tape it on. Just kind of tape it on the top and the bottom. And now I'm ready to hoop the fabric. And I'll just center 
the lines. I'm going to grab a ruler really quick or a tape measure here. And I'm going to make sure I have it centered while I'm while I'm hooping it. And now I'm ready to hoop it. I have it hooped and ready to sew, so now I'm going to remove the template from the fabric before I sew the design on. Many times I'll have a little bit of puckering around the embroidery, so to get rid of that, I use an iron-on stabilizer, and I have to make sure that the side, shiny side is what I'm ironing on to the back of the embroidery piece. But I iron it onto the back, and I get the fabric to lay nice and smooth that way. I really hope you enjoy doing these. I hope you have as much fun with them as I had making them. And I've got all mine ready now. I think I'm going to go get some barnwood fabric and I'm going to sew these together into a quilt using the barnwood fabric in between. I hope it turns out cute. Um, I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.